Okay, here we go again with Windows on Raspberry Pi. This time, however, I am going to make things easier and show you the easiest way to install Windows 10 on a Raspberry Pi 4. I am using an 8GB model, but I also used a 4GB model and I didn't notice any changes in performance. Before we begin, I have to say that you need to manage your expectations when it comes to Windows on Raspberry Pi. If you expect to play video games, watch 4K content, or do anything that you normally do on a pricier system, brace for some disappointments. Think of a Raspberry Pi trying to run Windows 10 as a Fiat 500 trying to tow a school bus, but I think it's still worth it. It can be used for light work, and I think it's a great thing that we are even talking about Windows on a Raspberry Pi. This WOR project has been improving by leaps and bounds in the last 12 months, and I am sure things will only get better and better. As you can see here, you can almost forget that this is running on a microcomputer. It takes a few seconds for any program to launch, but once it starts, things move a little bit better. In my previous video on Windows on Raspberry Pi, the system struggled a little bit with Zoom, but I see a little bit of improvement in this version. Some of you guys seem to be having problems with the camera, so I tested a Logitech C920 USB webcam. It seems to be working fine, but Raspberry Pi camera module did not work. Also, to answer some of your previous questions, yes, Ethernet works, and yes, Bluetooth works, but no Wi-Fi. Before we move on to the installation part, I want to let you get a feel of what Netflix looks like on a Raspberry Pi. I'm not going to play the entire movie for obvious reasons. It kind of struggles, but once it starts, it runs okay. And with that, I highly recommend installing a cooling fan, otherwise your Raspberry Pi will overheat. Alright, now let's roll back the tape and show you how I installed this copy of Windows. First thing we need to do is get on a Windows PC, go to this website, link in the description, go to downloads. We need to download two files. The first one is Windows on Raspberry Pi Imager. Download it and unzip it. Then we need to click on this link to download the image. We are going to select ARM64. Click on this link or whatever the most updated version is. Select your preferred language. Here you can select Home or Pro. I am selecting Pro. Make sure download and convert to ISO is checked and click on create download package. This should download a zipped file. Make sure you save it somewhere where you can access it. Now unzip the folder, access the folder and look for this file. Since I am using a Windows PC, I am going to select this one that's ending with .cmd. This command will start the download and the conversion process. This can take a while. If you get to a point where you don't see progress for a while, hit enter. Your system should say press 0 to exit when the download and conversion process is complete. If you have not already done so, go ahead and insert a microSD card into the proper slot 
or the SD card reader in your PC. Now let's check and make sure that we have the ISO file downloaded. It looks like we have it. Next, we will open up the folder that has the imager and start this WOR executable file. This should start the Raspberry Pi imager. Hit next. Select Raspberry Pi 4 ARM64. Click OK. Find and select your micro SD card. Be careful not to wipe out something else. Click next. Find the ISO image that we recently downloaded. Click next. Select use the latest package on the server. Accept TrueTask USB. Click next. Select the latest firmware on the server. Click next. Next and install. Now grab your favorite beverage, chill and wait for the magic to happen. When you see complete, remove the SD card from the PC and insert it in your Raspberry Pi. From this point on, patience is the name of the game. It may take up to 30 minutes for you to see that sweet look of Windows 10. Okay, I hope you learned something today. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a like and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.